Hello, welcome to the necessary mass problem of the week. In this week's problem, we're going to be finding the critical points of the multivariable function f of x, y. Um, finding the critical points of a multivariable function uh, is not completely dissimilar from finding the uh, critical points for a function of one variable. So first, we're going to take the, um, the partial derivatives with respect to both the variables and set them equal to zero. And then we're going to uh, algebraically work our way from there. So when we take our partial derivatives, we get that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 3x squared minus 6y, and we set it equal to 0. Um, with respect to y, 24y squared minus 6x equals 0. Um, so now, uh, for both of them, let's just go ahead and uh, add 6y over to this side, add 6x over to this side. So we do that, and then we simplify, and we get that x squared equals 2y, and down here, uh, 4y squared equals x. So if we have 4y squared equals x, um, then we can substitute 4y squared for x, uh, in this equation up here. So if 4y squared equals x, then uh, 4y squared um, squared is equal to 2y. So uh, then 2y equals 16y uh, to the fourth. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, keep solving. So finally, we get uh, 2y times 8y uh, cubed minus 1 equals 0. Uh, so this is true if first, if y equals 0, and second, if y equals 1 half. So we have uh, y equals 0 and y equals, or y equals 1 half. So if we go up here, um, if y equals 0 and uh, 4y squared equals x, so then if y equals 0, then x equals 0. And same here, if uh, y equals 1 half, uh, then x equals 1. So we get our critical points are 0, 0, and 1, 1 half. So that concludes this week's Problem of the Week. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and take a look at our blog at centerofmath.org. Thank you.